Let's look at how we can calculate factorial using both iterative and recursive functions in Python. So here we have a Linux machine. And so I'm going to go ahead and edit a file. So let's call this factorial.py. All right, so I start my Python program, user bin Python. Now I'm going to create two functions. The first one I'm going to do is an iterative function, and the second one I will do as a recursive function. So you can see the difference and see how they work. So def factorial, let's call this factorial 1, and I'm going to pass it some number n. Now if I want to calculate the factorial of n, just so you know how this works, if I was going to do factorial of n, that would be equal to, well, let's say I do 5 factorial. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, and I guess you can put a times 1 in there if you wanted to, which would be equal to 120. And you can check my math if you want to. So what I do here is I'm going to now calculate out factorial. So I'll make a little comment here saying this is my uh, it iterative function. All right, so what you want to do usually with the iterative function, function is to have some kind of value that gets added to. So I'll start with a value and I'll start this value with a value of one. And then I'm going to have it multiplied times each number in this factorial. So while we'll take this number n is greater than one, so that means five, four, three, and two, we want to multiply our value times whatever n is. So value equals, and you can do a times equals if you want, value equals value is times n. And then we want to decrement our n. So n equals n minus one. We could also do a minus equals one. Doesn't matter. You get to this point right here where you have broken out of your while loop and you now have your return value so you can return your value. This is the iterative approach. You can count up, you can count down. Usually people count it down, it's easier, less coding. All right, now let's look at the recursive function. So recursive function will call itself, so factorial two, and we're gonna pass it the value of n and this is our recursive function. All right, so we wanna have our base case first. So I'll start with a base case, base case. And the base case is if the number we passed in is one, we'll just start with less than one for, for easiness sake. But if our n is less than, say less than two, so that means one, we're just going to return one. Then we're going to do the rest of it. So if it's not that, we're not going to return. We're going to keep going. So we're going to return our n times the factorial, factorial two of n minus one. So the first time it comes in with a number five, for example, it will come in as five, which is not going to be less than two. So go to the next one and it'll say return five times the factorial of n minus one and n is five. So it'll be the factorial of four. So it will return whatever factorial of four is times five. And that way we can get our factorial of five and it works our way down. So now let's go ahead and print out these things right here. So I'll do print um, factorial one, factorial made one, and we're going to pass the number five because we know that's 120. Well, we can test it and make sure it works. Now we're also going to print a factorial two and pass that number five, and it should also return 120. So if this thing works correctly, it should print out 122 times. So we'll exit, save that. It will change permissions. So 
on our factorial and we will run our factorial and it prints out 122 times so we know it worked so once again if you want to take a look at the code this is how you do these two different methods of calculating factorial the iterative approach and the recursive function